needs assistance, possible 187. Robert Yummy Sandifer was an American gang member who was murdered by fellow gang members in Chicago, Illinois and garnered national attention. He appeared on the cover of Time magazine in September 1994. Nicknamed Yummy because of his love of junk food, Sandifer was a young member of the street gang The Black Disciples. After committing murder, arson, and armed robbery, he was executed by fellow gang members who feared he could become an informant. Coverage of Sandifer's death and retrospective on his short, violent life were widely published in American media. Sandifer became a symbol of the gang problem in American inner cities. Yummy, only 11 years old, was known for bullying and extorting money from local children in the community in the Chicago neighborhood of Roseland. He liked luxury cars such as Lincoln and Cadillac and remarkably was able to drive them despite his small stature. Many of his 23 felonies and 5 misdemeanors were committed in the course of running errands for street gangs. The penal system had no way to keep him out of trouble and the courts were helpless to lock him away because he was too young for juvenile detention and too dangerous to be placed with children his own age. Man, free Casey, man, free Casey. And then Cuzzo put some motherfucking chicken right. patties in the microwave the on the cat, floor the with cat the cat. The cat just licked this shit. Yeah, I right. bet Cuzzo. <laughs> I'm finna eat that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, this yeah, shit yeah, real, yeah, man. Damn. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Both of them get some mayonnaise with no motherfucking bread. Man, nah, what are you on, man? Hey, hey, look at him. There go Cuzzo right there, man. Hey, no, dude, check it out. Check it out, no, no, man. Hey, look at him. Check it out, man. Hey, oh, shout out to our cousin, man, Lou, I mean, Nay Nay, man, off that shit there. Shit, Dolly. He off the Twinkies, man. He off the dope, man. We see, oh, block. Damn, man, this nigga fucked up, man. I'm fresh out, man. I don't know where we're taking your grill. No, we rock, man. This shit don't stop, man. We keep crushing stock, man. We stay pop box, man. You know, stay off the Twinks, man. Man, they fucking fact, give me that shit, man. Now, man. You know how to fuck that shit go, this, man. We found the old bitch, you know? We found the old bitch. 064. In this shit, 24 8, you know, man. You know, man. This shit, you know, ATM money game, glory boys, you know, man. You know how we rockin', man. You know, we city, old block, man. You know, Larry Ryan, you know, you know, man. You know, we just be, man. Free bitch. Free phone number, man. Oh, God, when phone them get out, it's cracking, folks. Y'all know how we rock, man. Y'all know how we rock. Wait, wait, wait. Don't fuck with the fire around the end of the video. Y'all know how we rock. 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 Y'all Okay, don't, don't, don't do bust 
y'all thing real quick. Now look, I'm gonna introduce my thing, Kelly Oakville Cream by man, you feel me? King David, you feel me? Time. Six four fucking six five. You feel me? All day long, let's rock, baby. Sometimes we gotta recover power, but we gotta straighten ourselves out a little bit, though. We gonna do everything to point a little fast. You know, anybody want what, we gonna get it. So anybody that don't want what, they still gonna get it, because they not ready for it. Both of us know what I say. Fuck them party town, them party town. Fuck 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 them party I saw him pull the gun out. Andre Easter was at the front door as the service ended, just after Pastor Corey Brooks had preached an anti-violence eulogy about turning to faith. It's hard uh, to get people to believe that message uh, when you have such evil right at the doors of a church. He was hollering gang signs, talking to a couple of guys, and then he just pulled out the gun and everybody started scattering. I seen people jumping down in between the pews and, and getting up under the seat, so I I ran. Hundreds of people inside, including investigators, believe the gunman, identifying as many as four targets and hitting two of them, including this woman's son. And as he was coming out, they just shot him a lot of times, a lot of times. Is nothing sacred anymore? Well, no uh, areas are sacred nowadays because violence is learned behavior. Guys feel they're going to catch you wherever they can catch you. Anti-violence activist Andrew Holmes showed me a cell phone picture of one of the victims on the sidewalk where parishioners spent the summer marching for peace in this neighborhood. Talk about, you know, running these type of people out of our neighborhood, but I mean, then they're going to go to another neighborhood and do the same thing, so we got to transform their hearts. Mary Sistrunk says she preached similar words to her now dead son just this morning when he apparently knew he had a bounty on his head. He said, Mama, they going to kill me. I said, they're going to kill you while you lay your head. You need to leave from there and get God in your life. Too many young people was dying. This is her second child. Please stop the killing. I feel like a motherless child. I want to see what your life was like. We did My Block Chicago. Check this out. Okay, we're back. My Block Chicago. I'm sitting next to the young homie, Lupe Fiasco. They call me Lupe. You're sweaty. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They're hot, but at the end of the day, you feel good. It's freedom out here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a trip to the other side of Chicago where you grew up. Free side, all right? The hoodie hood. 
thought we were exactly. I mean, this is like Yeah, this is Madison Terrace. It's the notorious West Side. I done seen it all, man. I done seen it all. Death, violence, everything. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, too, even though all this, all this madness, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the house, it was like a, my mom's had mad collections of National Geographic. She had mad, like, a blow, whole book collection, the whole thing. Had mad all African, all, all type of just, like, culture just in our apartment. She kept it, the intellectual there, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, that was the balance. It was that close, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to look out my window and see prostitutes on the corner, but then, like, turn around and be like, you know, create pictures of Malcolm X and the whole thing in, in, the, in the crib. This is the building I grew up in. 3054. These are the buildings that pop up in my mind. These are the people that, that, that come out and do it. These are the cars, these are the streets. And this is where I write my lyrics. The approach to your sound and the way you write is a different approach than what you might expect someone who grew up over here, yeah. seen all these things to come with. You know, a lot of people may think, well, damn, if he grew up in this area, maybe he'll come a lot more harder edge, a lot more aggressively. Yeah. Initially, initially, I did. Initially, I was entertaining this. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to change this because I didn't know how. You know what I'm saying? I don't like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't cool to me. You know what I'm saying? I tell my peoples in their face, like, this ain't cool. I don't like this. This ain't this ain't how it's supposed to be. Wow, man, that was man, that, that brought tears to your eyes. What was it about that 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 you know just triggered this emotion from you? Just looking back. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some of them dudes with that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got dudes, you know, you know, Chicago, the murder capital. Uh-huh. You know, the dudes in that video, you know, in a prison. Mm-hmm. A couple fat cases. Then there's ghosts. Mm. You, know, you, see, you see people that ain't, you know, that ain't there. Mm-hmm. An aspiring rapper from the suburbs took a fatal bullet to the back of the head on the far south side becoming yet another casualty of Chicago's shooting epidemic. Ulysses, also known as Chris, a 19-year-old graduate of Oak Park River Forest High, became at least the fourth aspiring teen rapper to get shot and killed in Chicago since September. Chris modeled his hip-hop alter ego, YPN Boomtown, after Chief Keef, the Inglewood teen rap sensation he was related to by marriage. Chris's stepfather, Alfonso Cozart, said he is the father of Chief Keef, whose real name is Keef Cozart. The family connection isn't believed to have anything to do with Chris's slaying, though authorities said Chris was gunned down in a car near 124th Street in South Union after visiting his uncle in West Poland. He later died at the Roseland Hospital, authorities said. Tate, Chris's mother, who returned to Chicago after getting the tragic news in Arkansas, identified her son's body at the morgue and visited the spot where he was killed. Somebody shot my son in the back of his head and now he's dead. She said, she said, I want to see where he passed. Chief Keith and his immediate family, however, do not recognize Chris or Alfonso Cozart for that matter as family. The rapper's lawyer and maternal grandmother said Chief Keith wasn't friendly and had nothing to do with the kid. Attorney Dennis Bergson said, and Chief Keith has no relationship with his father. The killer of Chief Keith's stepbrother was never apprehended. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So we just spoke with the bus guard. Thank you. 
and she's saying that um with this little jojo incident it's right she said right down here we walking on this block right now this uh 69th and harvard i just noticed these these blocks around here 69th and harvard yale princeton those names are colleges famous colleges you know what i'm saying we deep on the south side right now Shit, I gotta be careful over here to be honest with you. He was like, I'm on 69. He said, the BDK and woo woo, this is BD territory. This is where the BDs be at for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Them L's and everything. Look at the wall. These niggas claim 300, but we BDK. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I, have, I don't got no affiliation with it, you understand? But all this, sh look, at, look at the walls though. If people done signed the walls, Everybody done wrote their little sayings. You know what I'm saying? You get caught up in this shit. This real life. This where little JoJo got killed. Stains on the ground. You feel me? Shit. This it right here. This real. This ain't fake. This ain't fake, right here. Hold on, in fact, look, here go the tape. It don't get no realer than this. It don't get no realer than this. You can hear it in the distance. You can hear police telling us to get down. Someone opened fire just blocks away from our TV crew. An additional seven gunshots could be heard as police ran toward the scene. You see them there. Unclear if anyone was injured from that gunfire. Thankfully, our crew is fine tonight. Stay lacking, uh -huh. nigga. Steady talking about matters while your ass stays subtracted. Yeah. No lack, no lack. Come through in this crack. crack. Yeah. You ain't about that action. Yeah. This a man down. It's your boy HD Gucci out here with your boy Lil J. Shit, we do this whole weekly interview. See us out here smoking that dope all the time. Yeah, you know I'm rocking. Yeah, I'm low end. You know what I'm on. But shit, um, let the people know, shit. Well, um, what made you start rapping? I started rapping, man. There's you know, too many fake people rapping, man. You need some real rappers. People rapping about the real shit that's going on, man. Too many frauds. It's real. Shit, tell the people what, what projects you got working on right now. So I got a mixtape on the way called Sub Double Zero. You know, I'm number Double Zero. We just came out with a mixtape, cooling on the plane. We got a couple videos. There's a lot of shit coming up. Just stay in tune. Alright, um, shit. A lot of people want to know why, man. Why is you with Chief Keep? Man, all this, this shit I'm with Chief Keep, this shit ain't got nothing to do with no, no rapping, none of that. All this shit come from the streets. I'm from Tukerville. He from Wallace. He all on the songs. Talking about fucking Tuka gang and all this. He ain't, he ain't about that life. People out here, you know, you want to give a shout out to me. Yeah, shout out Brit Squad, first of all. Shout out Crazy Bill. Shout out my niggas, STL, we too good. All my niggas rapping, that's why I love them. Shout out Bean Team 39. So we rock with them. Number 30. Shout out OBN. He ain't really in that field. All that shit he rap about. Man, it's not for real. Squad, I ain't with all that sneak that shit, man. Woo. My niggas in these streets for real. Woo. 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 About JoJo. Skidda. Skidda. Ah. BK. They claiming we the competition. BK. But I'm screaming fuck the opposite. Squad. I ain't really gay. Yeah. No competition. I'm in these streets. I said, stop, it's the opposition. Tukerville, I rep 
the shit, he dissing me, the exit Say like, fuck too good, you meet the clip, yo man's that you still ain't no shit Respect, yeah I earned the shit, disease gonna leave you burn it I burn niggas like I burn blank this. can't no change for president Nigga dissing on me, that's death row, and you know I keep the drop like Velcro No Taco Bells, but I feel shells though, J Money got caught on death row You a singer, or a rapper, I'm a real nigga, I clap you Catch little dirt, put him in the dirt, feed the boys to the boys, I heard me a actor My name ringing bills on Global Safari. I, I carry these niggas, they whining and singing. I call them a wire. I'm, I'm flyer than palace. I don't need no stylus. I'm pull like a sake. I'm sipping the lean and counting my grain. Got caps of the molly. Hoes in a party, talking about folly. I think I got started. I go retarded. Man, fake niggas forever departed. Got a bad bitch, she feeling erotic. Push Panamera, foreign exotic. I'm leaving you niggas. Please do not copy. I'm doing shit big. Jeremy Shockey, I see that hockey for Sachi.